I'm Bruce Kyle. I'm an architect evangelist. I work with software companies in the United States. Today I'm here with Bob Jansen, who's the CTO of RES Software. Bob, tell us a little bit about your products and uh, what you guys are up to. So we are the inventors of uh, user workspace management uh, and what happens when users log on, a truly dynamic user workspace is created based on the user context, so who you are, where you are, and all those dynamic rules. Uh, the user workspace only exists while the user is logged on, and when you log off, everything is gone again. And that user workspace contains everything you need to be productive. Your applications, your data, your settings, your printer, everything. It's all context-based, uh, and our product is geared towards IT administrators and IT architects to create truly dynamic user workspaces using the latest IT delivery uh, infrastructures. So, uh, why did you go on Windows 7? What was, what was the thought process behind that? Uh, so we found out that uh, a lot of end users really like Windows 7. Uh, it looks nice, it's, it's smooth, it's, it's performing great, great uh, added features. But from a business point of view, we found a different story. Uh, we found out that the larger enterprises have policies in place like you're only allowed to replace 20% of the desktop population on a yearly basis, which means that they have to start today if they are running on Windows XP to migrate to Windows 7. And we have to help them in that effort. And so what features have you added to your product to help out with that migration to give them the real Windows 7 experience? So uh, we, we support all the Windows 7 uh, features from a manageability point of view, so including the jump lists uh, and also the printed taskbar. So in the previous version, uh, in Windows XP, for example, uh, we had support for uh, offering mandatory shortcuts in Quick Launch area, which sits on the taskbar. And with Windows 7, it's gone now. It's pinned to taskbar. But pinned to taskbar is not exposed by the uh, API, so we had to find a way around that to still be able to manage that for the, for the customer. Uh, also, there are some great lockdown options in uh, Windows 7, um, and we, we provide uh, uh, functionality for that, uh, which means that you have context-aware policies that uh, apply real-time, so that's really great. So what would you tell developers who are interested in moving to Windows 7? Uh, well, it depends. First of all, if your application is already uh, running uh, great on Windows Vista, uh, you have nothing to worry about. It will run great on Windows 7. Uh, if you're still on Windows XP, uh, you will have the same performance on Windows 7. So there's a lot of great performance improvements uh, in there. And there's a lot of uh, information to be found on uh, MSDN uh, to help you uh, get your application uh, ready for Windows 7. So you're good to go. Well, I appreciate you coming today. Thank you. I'll see you next time. <laughs>